Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another F1 video for today. I hope you guys are doing good. Amazing on this stupendous Tuesday. Um, obviously, shout out to Tomo with, with the video. All credit goes to him. But we are indeed back with 10 best libraries of 2010, 2020, basically the last decade. I'm going to be checking it out. We're going to see what the best ones have been. And I um, hope you guys are, are good, man. Obviously, you know, I, I am recording yesterday because of uh, I was still suffering. I was still suffering from the uh, Bingo's loss, and I had something to do as well. So that's on me. We should be back for the rest of the week. And along with that as well, we have gotten our first live livery, livery, the, the new color design for the cars. And obviously has a drop there. So I'm looking at it right now. I'm probably going to post it on, on, on the screen as well. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It looks hard. I like the black. I think it's really just a black design. Um, it seemed like the bottom of the car is a bit different. Um, it looks nice. Palm, and also it's Palm Angels instead of Oak Berry. I'm looking at it on my phone, but I'm also going to have it on the screen as well. It looks nice. It's a, hey, <laughs> can they do something this year? We are going to see, obviously. I will be looking forward to it, man. But anyway, let's go and get started with the top best libraries from the past decade. Don't forget to like the video and sub as well as always. Let's just start it up. Let's get it. Top 10 worst liveries of 2010 to 2020 liveries. did pretty well. I would say libraries. So, of liveries. course, I have to now Shout out Tomo, swing man. it around the other way, bring a bit more of a positive outlook on things and look at my top 10 favourite F1 liveries from that time period, 2010 to 2020. And also, if you enjoy my stuff, please, please, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Apparently, only 25% of you people watching currently uh, are actually subscribed to me so if we could get that up that would be fantastic channel growth has been great at the minute and i've like i really appreciate all the support but i'm excited the more the merrier so let's start with number 10 and it's a car from 2014 a year that brought some horrific car design but this choice for me as a livery i thought was absolutely banging even though the actual physical aesthetic of the car in one particular place and we all know where was disgusting. I'm saying the 2014 Force India. It looks nice. I mean, look at that massive willy on the Ew. front of it. <laughs> I forgot how just how much that's that disgusting. Looks like a knob. It's legitimately <laughs> hilarious knob. that that wasn't an F1 car. As much as I do actually think, you know, putting it in black. Okay, now that now that I am. Hey, that's uh my boy Perez. It's the Perez. Like Nico, I don't, I don't know, bro, is in the middle. That's a uh, that's a design, all right. I do like the color though, color isn't bad, but yeah, <laughs> kind of no hides it from certain angles to an extent. It still stands out, but but regardless of that, away from that, the livery itself, the combination of the black, the white, the orange, and the green. I think is actually really, really nice, really nicely implemented throughout the car. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying what I'm looking at as long as I kind of cover cover the front because, you know, I don't swing that way. And this car finished yeah, sixth in the Constructors' Championship yeah. with Perez I, and Hulkenberg at the wheel. I'm good off of that. All that length didn't really pay off in the results, did it? Number nine, and this is the first 2020 car to appear in the list. The first of two. And driven by George Russell, Nicholas Latifi, it is the, the 2020 Williams. Williams. For me, the Colgate car is on point. I love it. Very, very love-hate relationship with this car this year. Apparently, a lot of people, a lot of you lot, you nut, nut jobs, like the 2019 Williams. Yeah, which I no. Think is absolutely 2020's disgusting. way better, better. People are like, yeah, that's bloody sick, mate. I love it. I love the way it looks like a four-year-old's made it on MS Paint. MS Paint. Nah, man, this one bangs. I, I really like it. looks like nice. the bold colours. I like the implementation of the, the sponsors. For me, it's a very, very solid livery. And like I said, in my 2020 liveries ranked video, it looks like a toy car, which I think is a good thing. Okay, number eight, and we're going all the way back to 2013. This car finished at the very top with Seb and Marky Mark Webber at the wheel. I'm saying the 2013 Red Bull. This for me yeah. is such an iconic. Oh, no. I ain't really peeped the purple. I don't think I've ever really peeped the purple. I've always thought it was just just the Red Bull logo and just like straight blue. 
that hey that purple's kind of a little pizzazz to it, a little, you know. It looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Motor. Vettel's last title winning car. And for me, it's the best looking of the Red Bulls. I really, I, I love the Infinity. I, I like that kind of little bit of purple that's implemented. Yeah, I'll say that purple's side. nice. There's definitely a degree of nostalgia though tied into that because I feel like objectively I should prefer the 2020 car because I do really like the 2020 Red Bull. But I don't know. There's something about this that just does it for me. Okay, number seven. And again, we're back at 2020 this year. It's the Haas, driven by Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. This car will find the wall many of a time this year. <laughs> once the season decides to start. Minds were blown when I said this is my favourite livery of 2020, but it is, and it remains to be. I just, I think it's so smart. It's it's not trying to be too cra crazy and out there. And I do like some crazy and out there liveries, but for me, this is just, it's nice. I just, it's just really it smartly nice. put together. It I love nice. it. I think it's, it's just decent, isn't it? Okay, number six, we have the car. Again, another very successful car. Car piloted by Lewis Hamilton and Valerie Bottas. It's the 2019 Ooh. Mercedes, the gradient from silver yeah, to black. That's tough. I that's really tough. dig that and how they that's tough. I like Mercedes kind I of I do like the Mercedes cars. Things. I've always liked Mercedes like deliveries. Like so that's since that's since I started following F1 for like the past like, you know, what since about what two years now? It was gonna be my second like it was gonna be my second full season. I've always liked Mercedes liveries. I've I've always liked you know like the little gray silver whatever it is design. I've always thought it's pretty unique, you know, a little spiffy, a little. Eh, eh. It just, it listen it just looked nice. I thought it looked nice, but so far so good. I think right now that Williams uh, one into that is probably my really best one as a nice right effect. Now. But that Patronus teal swoosh down Oof. the side, beautiful. Checked they up. definitely downgraded for me with the twenty twenty car by making that solid it's just the gradient on the edge of it that just mm, looks like a lightsaber you know number five we have a car that was driven by lance stroll and sergey so oh, also if you guys do want me to draw my own like deliveries from this upcoming season let me know i can definitely get that out for you guys whenever we know more than drop these next couple weeks but as of right now we just have the haas team but right now haas is number one that's Rock it, it yes it's the 2018 williams for me the martini livery is always gonna bang uh, it returned oh, from no. 2015 onwards the white looks nice the white uh, does look and, nice though you the know, 2020 looks way better for me, than me was the very best of them it's the black the way that curves Ooh. up and then down and then to me that just makes the car look even better i really like how planted and just it's a dope looking car man i love nice. it unfortunately the results were absolutely awful but at least it was a pretty car they had banger absolute dead livery and now back to banger again so fair play williams just up your consistency Williams. it's always okay, the bad teams who have like the five liveries and the <laughs> next car on odds. my list number four is a car that was driven by as the more was Holtenberg good producing and carlos science it is another 2018 car and it is the Renault. The yellow and black absolutely slaps. I love the way it's all yellow Ooh. top and front. And it's it reminds me of the Pittsburgh Steelers, that, which again, I'm about to throw up. will be an iconic Ugh. livery. And for me, nice, this though. is the most attractive like a freaking bumblebee. version of it. <laughs> I just, I like the French flag on the, the nose. Oh, I that's think that's nice. a really nice little touch. That. But again, the way that the majority of the brands, bar Castro, are color matched. And I just... It just looks sick. It looks like stealthy. It looks mean as f I love it. I'm, mm. So it's top three time. We're going to go, go baby. all the way back to 2015 for a car that was driven by Sergio Perez and Nico Hulkenberg. It's, it's a India. return of the Force India. The silver, the black, and the little hits of orange and green for me is an absolute match made in heaven. What a banging little... This is such a sick-looking car. With and without the nostrils, because they added the nostrils later in the season. Like, these top three were really difficult for me to actually split apart, because I just... I'm looking at this now and thinking, should I, should I put it higher? Because, no, I'm sticking I'm sticking to third. But that is a cracking... Looks nice. Delivery design. It looks GG nice. GG Force India. Well played. Oh, should I, should I have put this number one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, right. Okay, we're going to a car that was driven by Pierre Gasly and was also driven by Brendan Hartley. It's the 2018 Ooh. Toro Rosso. 
toward Toro Rosso. What a... Mmm, it's so nice. Ooh. I love it. The red. The, the blue is a proper blue. It's Ooh. not something... <laughs> now, that gives me, like... I was to, like, a USA type of colors, French type of colors. That's cold. I I don't care. That's... That's... That's cold. That's it. I, I, that's why I, like, always say... I always feel like... F1 cars need, like, like need, like, an alternate version of, like, whatever. Like, have, like, the main one... But like one race weekend, just bring up like a whole new like livery setup for for the cars. Oh man, like oh oh man, like <laughs> that would be so bad. I I would like it. I would definitely like it. Like just coming out, have like one just five livery setup, man. Bro, what? Man, and that would be that would be cold. That would be cold. Like, just you know you know how like the NBA and NFL have like the alternate yeah, uniforms stuff like that. Dirty little red stripe down the side with the honda for me that is a cracking livery the honda on the front on the nose as well i know the 2017 toro rosso didn't have that i'm looking at pretty much perfection here i feel it's almost there um but the car at the top of the list has a little bit more going for it and you'll obviously soon find out why but as much as this car like was terrible it was second last in the constructors oh, Jesus my Christ. Wife, did it look pretty? And actually, Loki, that's probably partly why I hate so the what's number so one? much. Because it ruined it. It took away this beauty. <laughs> it ruined it. <laughs> ruined. Yeah. All right, so number one, it is. We're here. This oh, car is. finished oh. third in the Constructors' Championship in a year that blessed Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton at the wheel. McLaren. It is the 2012 McLaren. Look at this car. And tell me, it isn't bloody beautiful. Okay, I've always never really liked the old McLaren cars. It's, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yes, you got some crummy in the comment section down below. I know it. Go ahead. Y'all do it anyway. But I don't know. I, I thought, like, I've always thought it, like, it looked good. But I, I, that was it. I'm like, it's cool, but it's not the best. Like, I'll probably have Toro Rosso over there. Uh, the 20, bro, that 2020 Williams is, bro, that, oh my God, I can't even curse. That bad boy is so goaded, bro. That, that thing is so tough. To that thing is so tough. I just found this one was the one for me. I gravitate most towards with the Vodafone, with the hits of the red and the black. It does look on nice, that though. Mirror That's silver. great. That right. will forever be. It looks nice, though. Formula One car, that is what I, will, I believe I will always think of. Again, it's not too plastered in brands. It's just really nicely implemented minimal bring back the mirror man bring back the mirror paint job but there you go that's my top 10 from 2010 to 2020 again let me know down in the comments below what your top 10 are i'd be very interested to hear and if there's any because for me like apart from maybe the force india that was uh because because of the big nose um yes. on it <laughs> might be a bit. but otherwise i think they are, i think these are pretty sound yeah they, they're, they're solid it was a solid list sound, by my opinion but we've all got opinions and that's the beauty of being a human so again if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more content just like this and also be sure to check out the f1 alternative podcast i did with the verge magazine guys link down in the description below so hi guys and welcome to like that that that's crazy I, I, i've always said how big f1 is it's like i never really knew how big it was I've never knew how big it was. I just thought it was like a, you know, like I said, I've also had more shit, you know, it was just out there. Like, it's not bigger than NBA. It's just some, um, if you like most sport racing, that, that's it. But I always knew it was like the biggest more sport racing. I just know it was this big. But I like the list. You guys let me know you guys' thoughts about the list. I mean, also, like I said, when more of, of the libraries come out, we definitely will be making my list. So anyway, stay amazing, stay safe. Love you guys. Talk to you guys later, man. Peace.